Addressing learners and lecturers at the KC University's premises, the professor in educational media and technology at KCA, Caroline Omulando, urged teachers to mentor young learners to be researchers and enthusiasts of knowledge. When you think ab about a competency-based curriculum, it is the process, and that is why even my presentation today dwelt so much on that constructivism element. How does the, how does the learner construct knowledge? How does the teacher construct knowledge? How does the teacher use these two pieces of knowledge to construct the entire learning environment so that while I do that, I am able to help my learners build those competencies. As a language strategist, she further called upon the learners to impress the new learning system that focuses on developing abilities of different individuals. Even as we delve into looking at the competency-based curriculum in Kenya, as we implement it, for me, starting point, at the point at which I ended in my presentation, the teacher is number one. Once you have the right teacher, who knows what they need to do? The teacher will even advise all the other people what they need to bring on board for them to teach effectively. And once that is done, then we have it all done well. So for me, centerpiece, the teacher. The Vice Chancellor of KC University, Isaiah Kindiki, says the center is keen on capacity building and has taken the initiative to recruit key skills professors and lecturers. He also urged graduates to look for market niches available and create jobs for themselves rather than depending on white collar jobs. Let's change our attitude, both the, 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 the teachers and also the learners, learners. Yeah. that education is to open your faculties to be aware of your environment and the opportunities that it presents, and the grab, and there are many opportunities. Brandon Som, reporting for Prime Edition.